Hey, it's the Valley Guy. It's been a while since there's been a video, but now I found a reason to make sure I get more of them done. The Valley Guy has a fan. And I took the Leo girls out to dinner the other night, uh, my daughters. We went to a local restaurant, and uh, as soon as I walked in, the uh, hostess looked and said, You're the Madeira guy. I said, Well, yeah, the Valley guy, yeah. Oh, I love your videos. I love them. Your videos are great. And I'm thinking, Oh, someone's doing a video on me now. I'm going to get punked here. But, uh, no. The girl actually liked the videos and she said they're funny. And, uh, you know, now I know that. There's more than just my mom watching these things, and and uh, I got a fan. I can't believe I've got a fan. It is so cool. You know, I've been recognized in public before, and I that I think it's come from the videos, because um, you know somebody will will look at you and they'll do a double take, and then they'll smile, and usually the smile is what tells me it's from the video and not from something I've written uh, but uh, it's kind of cool uh, and, but the, this girl who, who actually came up she talked talk to my daughters my daughters were digging it my daughters were hey well did you see us in the videos too oh yeah we've I've seen your video I've seen you in the videos and my daughters are like oh you need to check out our channel on YouTube which is the Leo girls uh which basically just has, I think it just has right now, there's stuff that they're singing in church and, and stuff like that. We haven't actually done any, any production on anything of theirs. But, uh, oh, you need to check out our channel. And my daughters were digging it. And I got one fan. I, I think it, it's just so cool. It blew me away. But I quickly realized something about having a fan. And, uh, and that's that, um, well, the restaurant I went to, I'm usually known for complaining. So, uh, I didn't complain <laughs> about anything, but then again, everything was fine. Um, but, uh, and, and also I was very conscious of eating my food and not looking at, you know, making sure that I was sitting up straight and. And, and the other thing, the other thing about having a fan uh, in, in a restaurant. See, I have always, I've never worked the, the food service industry other than uh, other than from a, a drive-in theater or a, or a theater uh, snack bar type thing. But I've never worked for tips. Okay, okay, that's it. I've never worked for tips. And uh, I have always been of the philosophy, if 10% is good enough for God, it's got to be good enough for the waitress. Um, and I have waitress friends of mine who say, well, you tip 10%, the standard is 15%. you start, you got to start at 15 and go from there. Well, I didn't want to look cheap. So... I tipped 15%. Um, for I think that's probably the first time ever I've tipped 15%. Other than on a comp meal. But, you know, I didn't want, to, didn't, didn't want to look cheap. I got a fan. Someone who likes my videos. Someone who could leave a comment. Uh, no, I like your videos, but you're a cheap bastard when you come into the restaurant and only tip 10%. I didn't want to hear that. I didn't, so I, I made sure that I tipped properly and but then the other thing you got kids with you and I have a daughter that doesn't know low volume I have a daughter who doesn't know how to whisper now I've heard that from their two teachers for the last four years and um, you know Leo Leo won uh, she's a very smart girl but uh She's, she's very loud in class. Well, I don't know where she gets that from. Uh, 
uh, the smartness that is. But uh, yeah, she she was being quite loud, and all I'm thinking is, you guys be quiet. I have a fan in here. You're embarrassing me. But you know, the night worked out quite well. Um, it was nice talking to somebody who had seen the videos. It was quite nice uh, talking to somebody who enjoyed them. Um, now. I know there's got to be more than just one of you out there that likes these videos. Tell your friends about them. I want to, I want more people to watch them and enjoy them. And then YouTube to call me up and say, hey, we want to make you a partner. And, uh, you know, then, 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 then there comes the real bucks. And then I can tip, uh, 20%. Yeah. Yeah. That's a ticket. You know, the evening turned out real well. Um, uh, I, I was just so blown away that that, that, that there was a fan, that, that, that there was somebody who was actually excited uh, that I walked into a place. And it really felt good. Um, and I thank you. If you're, if you're out there watching, I thank you. You really made my night. Um, and you kind of actually have inspired me to start kicking my butt a little harder and, and actually doing three videos a week, which is what I initially wanted to do when I started this channel. So thank you, my fan. I appreciate it. Uh, hey, we're going to start a new feature on the show uh, this week. It is going to be called the A-Hole of the Week. And uh, this is a guy I shot uh, some video of that was caught parking in a handicapped spot over uh, at one of our local elementary schools. And uh, well, he didn't really care for anyone telling him it was wrong. Take a look. Why do you have to use such foul language? Take a fucking picture. You're using foul language I in front of my children. Oh, uh, fuck. Then you should have mind your own fucking business. Really? You're parked in a handicap. I don't give a flying fuck. If you want, roll down the window so they can hear it. I don't give a... Boy, thanks for watching. My number one fan out there, thanks for coming up the other night. It uh, really made my day. Really, really made my day. And uh, I really appreciate it. Because of you, I'm going to try to get some more videos done. And uh, be on a more regular schedule. This is the Valley Guy. I'm out of here. Rate it. Comment on it. Tell your friends. Check out BigValleyNews.com for all of your Central Valley news needs. Talk to you later.